Angle proof using circle theorems. Now this question is an AA star question. It's using a lot of circle theorems in one question and it's using probably the trickiest one of all. Um, it's a star question because there's a mark, five marks in this question, there's a mark at the end for getting um, a reason for your answer that's clear. So we've got to prove AD is parallel to BC. So this line and this line are parallel. Um, that's what we're trying to prove. Now, this diagonal line here sort of trying to help you there. You could try to show that these two angles are the same and therefore alternate um, alternate angles and therefore these would be parallel lines. Or we could do this angle and this angle add up to 180. That would be interior angles on parallel lines. That, if that rule is true then these two lines are parallel. So it depends how it works, how we get along. Now to start with, when I see a tangent to a, um, a chord or a, a circle, I'm already thinking, it's quite nearly in the exam, I'm thinking alternate segment theorem. Also, there's quite a few other things that we'll work through without actually getting thinking about the answer, just going through the motions of these rules. So this is 54. So this angle here is the same as the angle formed from this chord in the alternate segment. So this chord here forms this angle here, so that is 54. So we need to say that A or angle ACD equals 54 by the alternate segment theorem. Okay, the next thing I can see is we've got an isosceles triangle here. So that tells me how to work out this angle in here and this angle in here. So we've got 180 minus 96, which is 84. And then we're going to do 84 divided by 2, which is 42. So this is 42 and this is 42. So um, that now gives me this angle here to help me with this rule, if I wanted to use the um, interior rule. So let's actually work the right our reason for B, C, A, um, and we might as well do the other one as well, and angle B, A, C uh, equal 42 because uh, A, B, C, or triangle A, B, C is isosceles. That's essentially the reason why. Now, just need to know this angle in here. Let's just use another color again. So I just need to know this angle in here, and then I'm, then I'm pretty much done. Um, and the third rule we're going to use here is one for cyclic quadrilaterals. So cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, so angle ADC equals 180 minus 96, which is 84, because a, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So we've got since uh, angle B, C, D equals um, 96 and angle a D C plus angle B C D equals 180. That implies that um, A D is parallel to B C because um, alternate angle, not alternate interior angles on parallel lines add to 180. Okay, so quite a long-winded explanation there, um, but as you go along um, you would lose marks if you didn't give the reasons for the angles you get in. Um, but you're only penalized once for, for not getting a reason for an angle. So, for example, if you had um, 
the 42, the 84, um, the 54, and you're saying that these add up to 180, you would lose one mark for the first reason, and you would get three marks for the angles. You wouldn't get the, the mark for the star unless you're talking about this interior angles or for the parallel lines. So there's five marks there. Quite tricky to get all five, but if you set it out neatly and go through your rules and explain them, you should be okay.